Uh, hey Flosstube, this is Kate the Queen of Starts coming to you on Thursday, June 23rd. Yes, that's right. Uh, I was really hoping for a little bit of lighting. Um, I have the blinds open, I have the lights on behind me, but I have two burned out bulbs in the ceiling light, so it's dark. Uh, I have to go buy bulbs today. Anyway, so I know I am so behind on recording and now I'm playing with my box here. I'm having focusing issues lately. <laughs> ah, anyway, I'm so behind on everything. Absolutely everything. But I did take a few minutes this morning and pull out all my starts from the last six weeks. And I'm going to show them to you in no particular order. I can do this. I can do this. My OCD will let me show you. I'm just going to pull from the pile and show you. I can do this. Anyway, because otherwise it's just not going to get done. So um, today's video will be just starts. And then I will do a second video for whips and another one for the FSG winners, the um, some happy mail, and the needle binder business that pretty much everybody knows about now. Um, it's been awesome. Oh my goodness. So uh, yeah, the, the little group I created has just, it's awesome. So wonderful. I hope you're all having a great stitchy week. It's uh, It's been hotter than heck here. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's summer in Texas, but whew. So it's been high 90s. So hot. Anyway, hopefully I will have enough light that uh, you can somewhat see the whips. So, starts. I think some of them are whips now. Anyway, okay, so get comfortable, get your wish list ready. I know that's what I do when I watch Foss Tube when people show starts. So I'm like, oh, I need that chart. And um, there's cat hair everywhere, as always. So, okay, like I said, no particular order when I started these. I just pulled them from the bins. So, this first one, I know I started in June because I started um, a bunch of Hades this month. So, first up on the pile is Faces of Fairy 135 by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I have just, I mean, I love her artwork to begin with, and I love her charts, but I have just fallen in love with her Faces of Fairy, fa <laughs> Faces of Fairy series. I can talk. Um, they're just so, so beautiful, and they're really not big at all, There's if there's such a thing as a tiny hate. <laughs> I mean, this one itself is only 175 by 174. That's small in the Hade world. And oh, isn't she beautiful? So pretty. So pretty. I will be getting a lot more of, of those, I think. Um, I have a whole bunch on layaway right now I need to pay off, but those are all handle in. You'll see that in a minute, too. Okay, so Faces of Fairy 135. I need to give her a name because that's just annoying. Um, is on 25 count. It, I know it's a really tight little border, but it's going to be okay. Uh, I'm going to add some fabric to this, or someone else I know is going to add fabric because I can't sew. But uh, I got this 25 count white scrap in um, a grab bag from an LNS I visited in Florida. And it is big enough, just like I said, it's got a very small border, one and a half inches. So it's going to be fine. Anyway, this is actually, I think, two colors. <clears throat> Excuse me, now I'm losing my voice. Fantastic. So this is the top. It's kind of funny because you wouldn't think it looking at it, but it has some uh, greenish grays and brownish grays for the shadowing of her hair. But yeah, I'm doing this one over one, full crosses, loving the coverage. I need to get some more 25 count because I really like that. And I have a white butterfly needle minder from... True North Needle Minders. Okay, so that's the first one. So I said, I know I started her sometime this month. Then don't sit there. All right, next up, I think I started this at the end of May. I don't think I waited till June to start this. I was going to, but I didn't. Is the June Calendar Girl from Little House Needleworks. I love all the purple. Absolutely love all the purple. 
And this is on 14 count Ada in sand. And there we have part of her skirt. And I have a, um, I'll talk to you in a minute, love. Oh, ah, go away, go away. Fine. Okay, Christine, hi, you're messaging me. I'm trying to do a video, I love you. <laughs> okay, anyway, there is uh, my little blingy bee from True North Needle Minders, and I love him, he's very special. Look, he only has one eye. He's a blindsided bee, as Erica calls him. I love him. He's special. Okay, ah, see, now this was today's start. I was looking for this a minute ago. Because Joanne had asked, hi, Joanne. Um, what's the matter, sugar? No, you can't go outside right now. My husband sprayed for chickers last night in the yard, so dogs can't go out yet, and they're not happy. They've already been outside to the front yard to do their business, but they want to go investigate the backyard. I'm sorry, you can't go out right now. In a little bit. In a little bit. Anyway, so Joanne was asking about this. She was asking if I had started this on the recommended fabric. No, I didn't. Um, and that's, you know, that's me. Um, anyway, this is Snowman from Prairie Schooler. He's so cute. So much white. So, um, the recommended fabric is 32 count Sage Jobelin. I can't even see 32 count. So, this is on 14 count Ada in Smoke Tone. I see you. Alright, so there it is. And I've started his hat. And I actually did his eyes. I usually do eyes last. I'm not sure why I just do. Um... But yeah, I did. I started his hat and his eyes, and there's a little sparkly, it's kind of glittery, little uh, Mickey Mouse ornament needle minder from Nip Needle Nannies. I had it, and it was gone. I had to grab it back. Anyway, so there's that, and I'm going to keep that out because I need to comment on that in a second. Okay, this is, let me get the book for that. All right, this next one is called Spring in Bloom, and it's part of a series that I will be starting all four of from the book, Kathy Livingston's Cross Stitch Artistry. And I'm gonna do a separate video with a flip through of this book. Um, but it has some really pretty, pretty charts in it. And the series is right here. It's these four pieces. I'm gonna be stitching them all individually on 18 count Oatmeal Ada, which surprisingly is the recommended fabric. I know, I don't usually do that. Um, but this is Spring and Bloom, so it's that one right there with the robin. My sugar. I'm sorry, you can't go outside right now. You already went outside to potty. You've already had breakfast. You have water. My dogs are big babies. They're needy. That's okay. Okay, so here's Spring in Bloom, and I've done a little bit of green grass. Like I said, that's 18 count oatmeal Ada. And there is a yellow, um, that's a butterfly. I knew that. Uh, yellow butterfly needle binder from True North Needle Minders. Hold still. Sliding all over the place. Put that away. Go in two bags right now because the first one is whipped, the other three are kitted starts. Okay, next up. Yeah, I didn't grab that book. Hold on. I'm going to pause this for just a second. Okay, I'm back. Took me a minute. Just that. Okay, now what's in the as good as we get. Okay. <laughs> Next up. Oh, I have had coffee. Two cups, actually. 
Next up is November Quilts from Paul. Put it up. I have had coffee. From Paula Vaughn's Quilts for All Seasons. There's the booklet. And, yep, there's a picture on the outside. And it's the November Quilts. Because that's my favorite. And this is on 28 Count Monaco from Mo's Sale. This, is one of, this was one of her um, Fabric of the Month, so it doesn't have a name. But it's pretty. Isn't they so pretty? And I would say right now it's hard to tell where the stitches are because they're almost the same color as the fabric. But there we go. Little blob. And I have my Snoopy and Woodstock Thanksgiving needle minder from Minding My Minders. is another Hade. So chances are I started this this month. We have Quick Stitch Flying Pink Piggy. I've fallen in love with the Quick Stitches lately. I was into minis for a while. I still am. Um, but I've, I've really fallen in love with the Quick Stitches. So here it is. Isn't he so cute? That is happiness personified. It really is. That is a happy pig. So this is on 18 count white Ada, just one over one full crosses. And the first page is really easy, there's a lot of blue. See? Little blue bob, blob. Then I have a purple uh, Hershey Kiss needle minder from True North Needle Minders. up on the pile. I pulled these out of my hate box. So, is Quick Stitch Heavenly Christmas. This was a free chart that Michelle oh so kindly gifted us back at Christmas time. So here it is. See little dragon around the Christmas tree made of clouds and there's a little bunny rabbit there. Of course my husband, oh he's the comedian, when I first showed this to him said, oh is the dragon gonna eat the bunny? No. This is also on 18 count white Ada. And we have a black blob. We had a blue, now we have a black. Actually, you know what? That's not blue. That's not black. I remember this. It looks black, but it's not. It's actually 939. Very, very dark blue. And I have a needle I've been looking for. I have a uh, needle binder from my friend Annie. Hi Annie! And I think it came from Stitchy Time Creations. There it is. But it says, I'm happy, don't ruin it. And that is me at Christmas time. I love Christmas. And I, I'm the dork that wants like all the lights and the dancing Santas and all the music. I, I want Christmas music, I want Christmas movies, I want... I love it all and I'm the only one in the house that likes that. So, yeah, I'm like, I'm happy. I'm enjoying myself, don't ruin it. So that's me at Christmas time. Alright. Another Hade. This is from Hannah Lynn. And I got this first one in the series and I have the rest of the series on Layaway as well as her Alice series. This is her Dor uh, Wizard of Oz series. So we have Quick Stitch Home Sweet Home Dorothy. So I'll be getting the rest of those. I know it's black and white. I need to print out a color picture. Because it is so pretty. So, so pretty. <clears throat> and I'm doing this on 28 count uh, white um, Lugana. Just regular Charles Craft. And I believe, yes, two over one tent stitch half stitch, whatever. <clears throat> so, there it is. I have a little bit of the green. That's actually the um, Emerald City. 
in the background. So, and I have this blingy Dorothy needle minder on here for now, but I actually just got a, a set of uh, minders from Erica at True North, one of each of the four. And since I will be stitching all four of the charts, um, I'm gonna be moving that series onto these. Here's another Hade. I think all my Hades are together. This is... I don't have any water. <clears throat> Looking for the cover picture. This is Mini Chocolate, Chocolate, and More Chocolate from Randall Spangler. Just adore his dragons. I'm not a dragon person, but I discovered that I like cutesy dragons, not the fierce dragons. I like cutesy dragons. And these ones have such cute little fat bellies. There it is, with all my notes. So, there it is. Isn't it so cute? So, chocolate, chocolate, more chocolate. And this is 28 count white Lugana from Charles Craft. And this is a black blob. Let's stop leaving needles in there. <clears throat> there it is. Little black blob. And then I have a Jane Eyre needle minder that I made myself because of all the books in the background. That and all my chocolate needle minders are on other projects. Hello, sugar. Can I help you? I'm sorry. You just went outside. You don't need up on the bed right now. Because there's stuff everywhere. Alright, this next one is not a Hade, but I did start it this month um, with all my big projects. It's my first Tilton Crafts, and the second I saw this, I just had to get it. And then it was retired for a while, and then they brought it back, and I grabbed it as soon as they did. This is up on the rooftop, and I just love that. Just all the detail. Beautiful. Of course, it's a confetti nightmare, but you know, it's all good. So this is on 28 count white Lugana. Hi, baby. You're a good girl. Come here. Come here. You're a good girl. Oh. Big old dog. Yes. You can't go outside yet. Hello, s'mores. I'm going to close the door. Hello, dogs. They're both in here. Okay, so this is this is a big one. So this is over one, and um, two over one, maybe. Yep, two over one, ten stitch. So that's my go-to. And here's a little blue blob. And I have a Christmas Owl Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. <clears throat> Are you out of water? Did you drink all your water? You look thirsty. Okay, hold on. We're going to pause this again. I'll be right back. Nope, that didn't work. And I'm back again. Okay, next up. I closed the door, so now they're going to lay down outside the door. They're very clingy today. Next up is the biggest stash. This is from fix the cover. This is from the Cross Stitcher magazine. Looking for a date. February. February 2011. Okay. There's the cover. 
It has a clock on it. And Katie the Stash Queen is definitely the uh, enabler on this one because she's doing this. The biggest stash. It says, she who has the biggest stash wins. All right, and this is on 28 count uh, Lugana in Mushroom from eight, eight, um, MCG Textiles. I don't know where the H was coming from. So there it is. Nice long piece of fabric. Not really long, but and I have some of the green there. That's the chair. And my minder says cross stitch when you want to stab something a thousand times. And that's from True North Needle Minders. Part is I get to put these all back when I'm done. All right, next up we have pretty little Sydney from Satsuma Street. There we go. Anybody seen Finding Dory yet? I haven't. I was supposed to this last week on opening day, but I was not well. And then the weekend got away from us, and we still haven't gone to see it. I hear it's really good. So. I think I've got this turned. So there we go. It's on 14 count white Ada. It's part of the bridge. And I have a... Turtle Needle Minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Okay. Now I'm going to wait on that because I got a whole bunch of this one magazine. May was my magazine month, so. There we go. Okay, this next one, I have two out of this magazine, so one's in kitted, one's in whips, is from Stony Creek Cross Stitch Collection. Dave. October 2006. There's a little picture on the front. Um, and it's called So Far. And I think it's just Stony Creek. There's a kitty cat sleeping with some birdhouses. And it says, Dear God, so far today I've done all right. I haven't gossiped. I haven't lost my temper. I have not been grumpy, nasty, or selfish. But in a few minutes, I'm going to get out of bed. And from then on, I'm going to need a lot of your help. Amen. That's me. Every day. Every day. Anyway. So this is on 14 count hand dyed Ada from Fabrics by LJ in Princess. Pretty, pretty purple. Okay. You're pretty. And then, so I have part of the one of the stakes for the um, birdhouses right there. Actually shows up a whole lot better than it is in the picture. But it'll be backstitched too. And then I have a sunflower needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Wrong pile. That goes there. This goes there. Okay, next up is an electronic pattern. It's Washington, D.C. from Tiny Modernist. Love those little cities. I actually have a couple finishes to show, too. Not today. I mean, not in this video. I know what I'm talking about. Washington, D.C. Anyway, this is 14 count Ada. And I have almost a whole building stitched. And I have a little purse needle minder that I made.
Washington, D.C. money. You know. I try to match them up. It doesn't always work, but I try. All right. Next up is Lizzie Cates. Well-behaved women rarely make history. And I love this floss. I need to order more of it. So pretty. This is one of my Carrie's Creation flosses, and it's called Wildberry Breeze. And it is just so pretty with the blues and the purples, and it stitches up so nicely. This is 18 count white Ada, and I have almost the word women. But oh, look at the colors. So pretty. And this is another uh, minder that Annie gave me from Stitchy Time Creations. It says, my crazy runs wide and it runs deep. Embrace the insanity. All right. Move that out for a second. All right. This one I know. I, I, I can't remember when I started it now, but I know it was my 400th start. My 400th whip. So, um, so it was very exciting. This was a gift from my friend Christine. My hair's just flying everywhere. Fan is on high. The hair's on. Fiber hot flashes are crazy right now. So anyway, this is called the Queen of Stitching. Right? And isn't, isn't she pretty? I mean, look at all those little bits and bobbles there. Love it. Love it. Um, I'm doing this on 18 count. Ada. And I counted up to the top. I'm working on a lot of the uh, 3371. There's a lot of that in here. So it's, it's, it's good sized. It is good sized. Um, so there I have the start of the border and the start of the uh, pin cushion right there. And I have a pin cushion just like that. Anyway, and I have my blingy Queen of Hearts needle minder from I pretty sure I got her from Gina's Unique Boutique. Okay. Next up is Stitching Room by Jeremiah Junction. This is from Cross Country Stitching Magazine. I'm going to find a, the front eventually. This is July, August of 1990. I like that cover picture with the different herbs. And here is, the sun just went behind the clouds. So now it's really dark in here. So there it is, stitching room, and it gives you the alphabet so you can personalize it. Because eventually, one day, I'm going to have a stitching room. i got to prep all my stuff for then. Alright, this is on 14 count white Ada. I'll probably frame this. I probably won't make it into a pillow. Um, and there's part of the, the word stitching. And my needle minder is from um, Stitchy Time Creations. It says, if I stitch fast enough, does it count as exercise? I don't stitch very fast, so I doubt it. <clears throat> okay. The other enormous pile. I think we're halfway through. Okay, so next up is uh, an electronic pattern, and I meant to look up the, t the um, designer, and I forgot, so I'll have to look that up. This is TARDIS Book Quote. Stuff blowing all over, dogs barking at garbage trucks. Okay, 
So this is TARDIS book quote, and it's on Etsy. And let me describe it for you. It's the TARDIS, but it's made out of a stack of books. And it has the quote from the uh, Queen Victoria episode um, where the doctor says, you know, books, the most powerful weapons in the world. Um, uh, yeah, I'm totally botching that now. I'm a bad Whovian. I'm bad. Anyway, so this is on 28 Count Jobelin in Buttercup from Under the Sea Fabrics. So there it is, and that's the start of a book of the TARDIS. And I have my little mini TARDIS from Nifty Needle Nannies. I miss my doctor. I need to get Amazon Prime back. I have Hulu. I have Netflix. I have stars so I can watch my Jamie. I need Prime so I can watch my doctor. Okay, next up is... Okay. Really? I feel like I grabbed the wrong one. I did grab the wrong one, didn't I? I think I've shown this one, because this was a while back. I'm going to hang on to that for just a second, because I grabbed the wrong bag, and I'm not going back out there again. Okay, next up is another Doctor Who chart. This is from Fangirl Stitches. And it's the Doctor Who alphabet of quotes. Um, she has two different Doctor Who alphabets. One of them has pictures. The other one is just quotes. Um, very similar to her uh, Christmas songs alphabet. So this is on 28 Count Jobelin in As You Wish from Under the Sea Fabrics. And I know I'm, I'm stitching this. There it is. Beautiful fabric. Um, I know the N is in the recommended DMC 333, but I, I know I'm going to change some of the other letters to different colors. So I want lots more blues than it calls for. So, and I have a large TARDIS needle minder from True North Needle Minders. Okay, next up, show those all together. A lot of weird piles going on here. Okay. Next up is D is for drum from Prairie Schooler. I'm stitching the alphabet this year, and um, they're all on 16 count white Ada. I'm stitching them individually. Now the E I already have started, so I'll be st um, starting the F soon as well, but I already have the E started. And I'm in the wrong bag. And for shame, for shame, I don't have any patriotic needle minders. I did just order a couple, but don't have any. All right, so this is, there it is. That's the start of the drum. Uh, I think I'm keeping, yeah, I'm keeping the dark red for the drum, but I'm gonna change the red on the symbol in the middle because it's, I want it to be redder. And my needle minder says, I cannot count my day complete till needle, thread, and fabric meet. And that's from No More Lost Needles. Up is another Satsuma Street. I'm getting there. I almost have all of her cities started. This is Arcadia. It's just gorgeous. Done in whites and golds. I, I just love that from the beginning, so I'm even using the recommended fabric. This is 14 Count Ada in Polar Ice. 
Let go. Pretty. And I have, that's a little bit there done. And I'm gonna try and do all the white last because I don't want it to get too dirty. And the needle minder is from me. <laughs> this is one of my needle minders from uh, my group, No Name Needle Minders. So it's just, hold still. And it's a crown. Did I lose the floss? It's here somewhere. I moved the bundle of floss and I lost it. The floss fairies have been here stealing my floss lately. I'm going to have to get a shorter box. Go back to the shorter box because I feel like I'm really short in this video. Alright. Next up is Lavender and Lace. This is Little Wings. So pretty. I love that dress. I don't know if I'll love it by the time I'm done because there's thousands of stitches in just the dress. But and this is Oops, where's my paper? Four, uh, 28, 28 count even weave in skies from Fabrics by LJ. Oh, I took the needle binder off this one. That's right, because I needed a picture. So, but there's the fabric. There is the start of her dress. And yeah, I don't have a needle minder on this one because I took it off for a picture. This is one of my own needle minders too. So I'll have to put that back on. Okay. Next up we have the June Year in Chalk from Hands On Design. And that's on black, 14 count Ada. And I'm using the recommended uh, gassed threads for the colors, and then I'll use B5200 for the white. Looking forward to the white color day um, uh, in Mania, which I think is December. I know tomorrow is the pink day. Um, anyway, I'm looking forward to the white day because I'm going to do all my chalkboard pieces that day. I'm going to work on all of them. So here is what I have so far, and you really can't see that. Yeah, that's not much better, but it's a little better. And I have my Snoopy Needle Minder from Minding My Minders. Oops. Yeah, big there. Okay. Next up, my second Teresa Wensler. I'm not crazy enough. I started the Noah's Ark. I also started another one. These scare me. They really do. I mean, you know, they intimidate me. They have a lot on them. So this is uh, Egyptian sampler. Stunning. Just absolutely stunning. I, I love Egyptology. I really, really do. So... And I have to steal this needle binder back. Because did you see Hade put out a new free chart? Oh my goodness, they spoil us. But it is a quick stitch of the lady in this other chart that I'm going to show you. Just hang on. So this is Egyptian sampler. There we go. I got it. And it's on 28 count uh, antique white Lugana. Just the recommended fabric. And I have the start of the uh, center sarcophagus, so lots of gray. But check this needle binder out. I got this from um, Minding My Minders. Isn't it she, isn't she pretty? And I even got the leopard uh, bottle cap. But she is the leopard queen um, from Hade, which that's a chart that I've been wanting. But the um, new freebie is just, just her head. So... When I start that, I'm going to have to steal that minder back. I have another Egyptian one, though. 
or I can order another one. I do want to order another one. Um, so anyway, that's Egyptian Sampler from Teresa Wensler. Now this one I started for two reasons. Next up, this is the Jeremiah Junction. Uh, Annie gave me the chart and then uh, the vintage Sal in Cross Stitch Finish Line started. And it was kind of a joke because we were talking about how much we all love our vintage charts, which I do. I love vintage charts. Vintage charts. There we go. I love them. Absolutely love them. But then the joke was all except those geese in bonnets. I like geese in bonnets. I really do. Like I said, I, there's just something about the vintage charts that I love. So, so this is country. So I started this as a joke, but I have a lot of other vintage that I'm stitching. But this is Country Goose Caboose from Jeremiah Junction, and it's all geese and bonnets, which is awesome. So, but I'm doing this one here called Love One Another. Oop, glare. Right there, the two geese there. It says Love One Another. Um... I'm trying, I have to get the rest started, uh, my, my goal is to have a chart um, with, you know, a couple on it uh, for every year that my husband and I have been married. So Tim and I have been married 15 years this year in November, so I want 15, I want to do 15 pieces and do one for each year that we've been married. So that's my goal. So this is the first one I've started. I have a bunch planned out. I just don't have them kitted up yet. My hair needs to be chopped off. It's driving me crazy. So long. Whew. It used to be really long when I was younger, but since I got it cut short once, I... Whew. Anyway, this is on 18 count, 18 count white Ada. Pretty sure it's 18. It might be 16, but I'm pretty sure it's 18. Um... So this is the start of the, it's, it's the background behind the geese, right there. And I have a Romeo and Juliet book needle minder that I made, because, you know, love. Okay, okay, I did grab them. All right, all right. Okay, maybe I didn't show this one. <sighs> See, I don't have these in order, so I don't even have my notes to look at. Okay, so this is Lizzie Kate's uh, Living with Charm series. And so this is Dream. And these are all on 18 count Ada. Sorry, dude. And so I started that. There's the E and the A, part of the A. And I have my Snoopy Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. So that one is Dream. I've also started, I have all the series kitted. Um, this one is, these two are in the same booklet. So this is Learn. Okay. I'm pretty sure I changed the blue on this. I didn't use the called for blue, I changed it. So there we have the A in Learn. And I have a Domino Needle Minder from um, Brenda's Minders and more. Pretty sure. I know I have a couple that I made, but I know I ordered some from her too. And then this other one is Listen from the same book. It's one of her double flippets. And there's Listen. Okay. 